Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in Angular 18, we'll, in this video, we will try to learn about the interceptors concept. So just I will give you a plain overview of this one. We will try to learn deeper about these interceptors up in the upcoming videos. So in Angular 18, normally, the, I am explaining about the configuration thing actually. In Angular 18, there are two main ways exist to configure the interceptors for handling the HTTP request. One is functional interceptors and another one is the DA interceptors. So these are the two things which you need to understand. So functional interceptors and also the DA interceptors. So these are the two things So for handling the interceptors. So now here I will try to do it. So interceptors for handling HTTP request, first one is func functional interceptors and the other one is DA, based, DA based dependency injection based interceptors. So these interceptors help manage the tasks like authentication, logging or error handling before the request reaches the server or after a response has been received. So now here is a breakdown of these two methods I will try to explain you with interceptors and also the with interceptors from DI along with clear examples I will try to give you. So normally first one is with interceptors that means nothing but functional interceptors. So the functional interceptors implementation we will be using using the with, intercept, uh, with interceptors method. So using with interceptors, you define interceptors as functions that handle requests and their responses directly. This approach offers more, a more predictable ordering of interceptors and does not rely on the DA. DA means dependency injection, which can simplify configuration and make the sequence of interceptors clearer. So key points you need to uh, remember about these functional interceptors is interceptors are configured as functions instead of classes. So this is the one main thing. The order of interceptors is more predictable since they are explicitly listed. That is the main thing recommended over this is recommended over the dependency based interceptors for their simplicity and ordering benefits so that's it so let's try to understand about the step by step implementation of this with interceptors first of all in order to have this one so we will create a custom header dot interceptor dot ts file so we let's implement this custom header dot interceptor dot ts file so here only i will implement custom header dot interceptor dot ts file so this is our custom header interceptor file so what i will try to do here i will implement with interceptor so that means i need to use the function so export constant custom header interceptor okay so this is our method and which is of type http interceptor function http interceptor function so this will be like this and here you will be having a request so this method will be having a request and also your next next method so you will be having these two methods next method and here this is the function which we will be trying to do it and in this one let's say that i, I want to modify the request so modified request is equal to request dot clone i can use the clone method and you can set the headers here set headers and here you can set something like custom header Lila web dev or something like this. So we will be sending our channel. So that's it. So now here I can return next of our modified request. That's it. So this is our custom uh, custom interceptor. Now what we can do here. So we need to configure this interceptor in the bootstrap application. So use with interceptors in the main application configuration to add the interceptor to the HTTP client. So let's go to the app main.ts file or otherwise app.config.ts file so we will be having in our app.config.ts file so here we are having this uh, provide HTTP client right so I will be removing this with fetch and here I can use with interceptors interceptors so this is the thing and you need to provide array of this one so custom header interceptor that's it finish so like this you need to implement so whatever how many interceptors are there so you can predict and you can mention it like this that's it so here you have implemented this one so now we need to create a uh, just a component so just we will use this uh, app.component.ts file only app.component.ts file so in this one what i will try to do it is so we have injected this one and here i will try to do the fetch data so this one we are trying to make it right so response also we are able to get it so now let's see whether we can able to uh, get this request header or not we are able to send this request header or not we'll try to see so in our network let's go to the fetch exager and if i click on this one so we are able to get the request and here in our request address if you try to observe carefully so this is our request address and here we are able to send our custom header see see this is how we will be sending so custom header uh, a function adds a custom header header go to, to the outgoing request 
So provide HTTP client with interceptor speed. This method configures HTTP clients with our functional interceptor. So when the button is clicked, HTTP get request is sent. The interceptor modifies this request by adding a custom header. So this is how you will be doing it. So the next the next method which you I want to explain to you is the DA based interceptors. So let's try to understand about this DA based interceptors. What is this DA based dependency injection? The old method of implementation of this one. So here the with interceptors from DA method is an older style of configuring the interceptors through dependency injection. Here interceptors are provided as classes and managed through Angular's dependency injection system. While still supported, it is recommended to use the functional interceptors due to the predictability in their ordering. So the key concepts of this one is so interceptor. So key concepts to be remembered in this one is interceptors are registered as injectable classes. Order of interceptors can be harder to manage since DA based ordering it depends on injection order, which can be less explicit. So let's try to understand about this uh, implementation of this one. So one by one, how we can do it. So now in this example, we will try to set up a similar uh, interceptor as a DA based thing. So I will try to use this one as a DA based. So this one, I will try to convert this uh, custom header based using a DA thing. So for this one, what we need to do. So here we need to remove this entire thing or otherwise I will comment out this one all. So here at the bottom, I will write export class custom head sorry export class custom custom header interceptor interceptor extends so sorry implements http interceptor so like this we need to do it so whenever you are now this one should be injectable so why because we need to have a dependency injection so injectable now what we need to do so here we need to have a so whenever you are trying to use this custom interceptor means then you need to use the intercept method okay so this takes the HTTP you will get the HTTP request and also the next handler and this one should result an observable of HTTP event so fine <coughs> so in this one so constant modified request so, so the same thing I am trying to do it request uh, sorry request dot clone so I will be using this clone and here you, you need to set headers and here you need to send the custom header as lila web dev. okay so this is the thing and here when this one is all is finished so what you need to do sorry in this one here in the block. so here you need to return next dot handle of the top modified request you need to send it that's it so this is how you will be trying to do it in the dependency injection thing. So now in our bootstrap that one, so what you need to do it is, so in our app.config.ts file, so you need to remove this one all. So here you need to use with interceptors from DI. So you need to use this from DI and here at the bottom, you need to provide, provide HTTP underscore interceptors. And here you need to provide the class use class. So you need to include this one all custom header interceptor and also multi true so that it can be applied to the multiple things so here that's it so now you need to provide it like this now if you try to observe the same things and the, uh, the same output so now we have made the request and here also we will be able to see the request request headers the custom you will be able to apply it so where is this one yeah here this is the custom header so i will try to change the output so that you can able to uh, see it uh, clearly so here I will write some data and if I click on this fetch data now we will try to see whether this DI is applied or not this one yeah here you will be able to see so this is how we will be using so this is the how we will be using so comparison of with interceptors and with interceptor from DA is the type of interceptors which we are using is functional and whereas from the DA is it is a class based so the ordering predictability is high whereas the ordering predictability in the DA is moderate and usage recommendation is recommended for the new projects and supported for the legacy compatibility the DA thing and functional in configuration with interceptors and DA based injectable classes. So in summary what I want to tell you is so when we uh, so we, which one is recommended so here I would recommend with interceptors is recommended for new application due to its predictability and simplicity in managing interceptor ordering or with interceptor from DA continues to support the DA based class interceptors useful in applications where this setup is already in place or when there is a preference for DA classes. 
The functional interceptors provide a clear, structured and predictable way to handle requests, making them the recommended choice in most cases. That's it guys about this interceptors concept. Hope you understood about this thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.